G'day. Well, it's uh, Christopher John once again presenting you a uh, powerful presentation on your Solid Life Foundations. Whoa. We know that life is pyramidical. And what I want to talk about today is how to build from the bottom up because putting your foundations on the top of the day isn't really the smartest thing we ever do. So let's have a look at how this works. Firstly, you have to understand you've got a choice, process or outcome. So if you focus on the end game, that's the end, uh, and you don't really care about how, you go along this path making all sorts of things happen, but you get the result you want. The alternative is you can focus on the how and go along the path and not get the results you want, but have a happy day. So this people are focus on happy. This is the how. This people are focuses on being happy. These people are focused on results. These people get this one gets to the end and they get the results, but they have no friends or family. These people get to the end and they have friends and family, but no results. So is there a way, that's the question we're asking here, 100%, is there a way to go through this process and end up both process and outcome? Well, the answer is really important. And I just want to share a story. My first foundation for life was my family. And with my little ones. And I said, that's the foundation of my life. Sadly, like it or not, desire it or not, want it or not, it failed. And 80% of those relationships do fail. And people can come and go, as you probably know. I don't need to tell you that fact of life. People come and go. And so therefore, building your life on a relationship as a solid foundation is really unwise. Then I made a lot of money. And I was sitting in New York on September the 10th, 2001, with around about... 50, I think it was 57 million in my hands. On September the 11th, 2001, I was sitting with minus 15 million in my hands. So building your life on your financial uh, universe is probably not the smartest thing you could ever do either because just like family... It's not stable. So what then do we build this foundation on? Well, my next choice was to build my foundation on religion and or spirituality, as I called it. And what I tried to do is find out how to get to a top of myself or the top of the world and build my life on some sort of love for life. The problem with this model is the more you know, the more you know you don't know. So as you rise up in spirituality, actually the awareness of how little you know makes you sadder. You think that you're going to know as you get to the top, you go, ah, oh, look at me, I'm on top of the mountain, I'm a really happy person, I know everything. But actually when you get to the top, you realise there's other mountains to climb and the more you know, the more you know you don't know. So building your life on the foundation of love or spirituality is, is really toxic and unstable. I came to the conclusion after 40 years studying this that we need to build our life on a solid foundation of daily routine. I remember going with my partner to visit... Uh, her grandma in Holland and her grandma in Holland was 
80 or is uh, 90 or whatever. And, you know, we arrived at 10 o'clock, but Grandma was washing the dish that she had her breakfast on. And that was a 15-minute process from 10 o'clock to 10.15. And Grandma said, go and sit down and continue to wash the dish. We sat with great discomfort in the lounge. And at 10.15, at 10.30, when Grandma has her cup of tea each day, she invited us to join her for a cup of tea. This lady was this joyful, beautiful, really old person who'd gone through wars, who'd gone through the loss of family, husband, who'd been quite ill at times. And the way she held herself together and the way she built her beautiful world, which was such a gift to be in, and clean, tidy house, everything perfect, was routine. And one thing that goes out the shitter when we uh, go through life uh, at, in a hurry, busy, 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 is routine. We dance like we're standing on broken glass or, as I called it in Nepal, hot coals. And people look like they're dancing on hot coals, jumping from here to there, jumping all over. They cancel this, they book this, they do this, they do that. And they really make a... uh, It's really not the way we're meant to build uh, a solid foundation for ourselves. So I strongly suggest that this, what I've written here in this process or outcome is a great indication of how to build a solid foundation, a daily routine. Let me go through it, if I may. I'll go through it quickly. Your got-tos are the things that frame your day. They're they're your behaviour. What time you go to bed, what time you wake up, what you eat, when you do your exercise, how you dress, the environment you create, in other words, the tidiness and cleanliness of your space, and a little bit, your work goals, because they're got-tos. If you don't have your work goals, you're going to get fired. So your work goals sit there. And they're very physical, they're very behavioural. The second level of, of daily routine and discipline is more mental and emotional, more mental. And this level is about checklists, priorities, turning up, time management, kindness and goodness. It's very mental level of life. And most people would say, I've achieved my daily routine with both should do's and got to's. They're pretty much on track, but I think not. I think there's an emotional level, which is this level here. Remembering there are seven, I've summarized them down into five for a very good reason. And that is I couldn't find a PowerPoint template with seven levels like this. So I've made it the five levels, but really there are seven and I've just combined two here uh, and two here. So once we've achieved this beautiful uh, uh, mental level, I think there's an emotional routine, a discipline we need to conform to in a day, a daily routine to build a solid foundation. Being kind to people because that makes us feel good. Generosity to others because it makes us feel good. Vision, because it makes us feel good. Encouragement of self and other, because it makes us feel good. Focus and actions. Now, it's hard to do good if you don't feel good. So this really high level, high level in the pyramid up here at Choose To, this is about really, really deeply internally feeling good. This is your, uh, what do you call it, intrinsic values being nursed and nurtured so that you remain committed to and on track and disciplined. And finally, your love twos. And I think I wouldn't like to have a day without it because this is what makes you young. Your imagination, gratitude, inspiration, vision and enthusiasm. Your imagination has to be engaged to have this gift. So this is uh, really nice. And I've put some slides together, which I won't talk all the way through. But how you deal with the seven levels. This is the second level. This is the first level, sorry. This is the second level. You can go through this and stop the audio and video if you want to watch them and read them. This is the third level, fourth, and of course, fifth. So I really hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'm glad I've compressed it into a relatively short period of time so I can, uh, so you can go through and push the pause button if you need to explore each page and understand what I mean by each of the levels of routine. Building a solid foundation for your life. 
make sure you don't actually have to go through the journey that I went through to learn that if anything that breathes or moves or could be sold and bought is not a good cause for solid foundation, it's the result of a solid foundation. And a solid foundation, as far as I'm concerned, comes down to daily routine. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.